Hello my gorgeous and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a makeup look appropriate for Valentine's Day. I tried to kind of create a like pinky kind of thing. So like pink lips and kind of pink color on my crease area. So if you guys are interested in how I achieve this look, please keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with priming my face and for my primer today I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lumi Mousse primer I was about to say foundation <laughs> no um so I'm just gonna apply it all over my face and then we're gonna just like let it sit on the face and we're gonna start off with the eyes actually I recently bought this primer and I am using it since then because it just gave my skin a very dewy luminous finish and I really like it because I have dry skin, so yeah. For my eye primer today, I'm just gonna go with the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. So I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelids. So I to be very careful when you like pushing it because it's like I always ended up squeezing a lot more than I actually need. So yeah. You see that? I'm just gonna blend that one. At my eye base, I'm just gonna go with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelids. my eyeshadow today, the first eyeshadow palette I'm gonna go with the Zoeva Cocoa Palette. It's like Cocoa Blend Palette, you know what I mean. I'm gonna go with the color called Substitute of Love and we're just gonna use that one as our transition shade so I'm just gonna probably apply it all over my eyelids. I'm gonna go with the color called Bitter Start. It's just kind of like creamy color. And I'm just gonna apply that one all over my eyelid as well. Because I think that will like make the colors pop a lot more. I should have gone with that one first, but anyways, it's okay. Again, I'm gonna go with the substitute for love. I'm just gonna kind of concentrate on my crease area. We're just going to define the crease a little bit more. And after our transition color and all that, I'm going to go with the MAC blush actually. And it's in the shade Pinch Me. That's what the color looks like. I'm just going to go with the same blending brush. And I'm just going to concentrate on my crease area. And I'm gonna apply a little bit on my outer corner as well. Then I'm gonna go with the Tarte Color Wheel Palette. And it has like lots of blush colors in it. And I'm probably gonna go with the color called Ironic. It's just this one down here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go back and forth until like I'm satisfied the way it looked because I just kind of want to achieve like pinky outer corners. So, I'm 
I'm using like different palettes because I don't really have any specific one palette where it's like all the colors in it. So you can go with any pink, any transition color. Doesn't really matter which palette you're using. I'm just using only blushes, so it's all good. For my lid color, I'm gonna go with Naked 2. And I'm gonna go with the color called War with just this one down here, it's silver color. Just gonna pack it on my eyelids. To intensify the color a little bit more, I'm just going to go with the MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to spray it on my brush. I'm just going to pack the color on my eyelids. Oh yes, now we're talking. Now I'm gonna again go with the crease color because I kind of feel like it's faded a little bit and we're just gonna concentrate again on the crease area. So to blend all the colors I'm again gonna go with the Cocoa Blend palette and we're gonna go with the Substitute of Love color. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the brush and I'm just gonna concentrate on the crease area. So just to make sure that there is no harsh lines. Now I'm happy with the crease and I'm just gonna again pack the color a little bit more on my eyelids. Gonna go with a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna diffuse the color into each other. Alright, so we're done for the eyes at the moment and we're just gonna move to the face and for my color correction I'm just gonna go with the MAC Prep and Prime the color corrector and it's in the shade Peach Luster. Just gonna apply it underneath my eyes to correct my dark circles. And for my foundation today, I'm just going to go with the MAC Studio Fix foundation and it's in the shade NC40. I'm just going to dot my face. To highlight my face, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Master Concealer and it's in the shade Light Medium. This is like a very full coverage concealer and actually I'm really liking it because you only need a little bit.
To set my concealer, I'm gonna go with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I never do baking because I have like really dry under eyes, so I'm just like always afraid of getting that powdery cakey look underneath the eyes because my concealer is like always crazy no matter what. Um, but I think I'm gonna bake it today. We'll see how we go. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna dust off because I can already see it's making my under eyes dry. Yeah, baking technique doesn't really work for me. So I already filled up my brows off camera. I normally do that because I don't want to bore you. Probably gonna finish the eyes first and then we'll be able to move to the face again. Just gonna line my tight line with the Marc Jacob black eyeliner. So any eyeliner I use, it's always like transferred to my waterline. Even like I have the Urban Decay one and that does the uh, same. To line my waterline, I'm gonna go with the Rimmel eyeliner and it's in the shade Rich Brown. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna again go with the blush Ironic, this one down here. And I'm just gonna apply it halfway under my lower lash line. And for my inner corner, I'm gonna go with the silver color, the one we used for the lid. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go with the same pink color and I'm just gonna apply it on my eyelid, kind of as the eyeliner. Contour my face, I'm gonna go with the Revlon Sculpt and Highlighting Contour Kit. It's gonna go with the color called Bronze. This contour kit is in the shade Medium. I really like that kit actually. Just gonna blend that. Just gonna go underneath my jawline. Just gonna contour my nose as well. I'm just gonna blend it with my finger. For my blush today, I'm just gonna go with the same um, blush color, the one we use for the eyelids. And then I'm gonna go with the MAC Maria Carré Skin Finish Highlighter. Um, it's actually too dark to use as a highlighter for me and I'm just going to use it like as a bronzer topper because why not? I just love it. It is like very very glittery. So I'm just going to top it up on my cheeks to get that shimmery look but I think it's like way too glittery I don't know if you can see it but I can see like glitters all over 
my cheeks. That's not good. All right, I'm just gonna go with plain fluffy powder brush. And I'm just gonna buff it so you know that just blended into my skin. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. Ouch, I pinched it. For mascara today, I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. I think it's almost empty. I'm not really a fan of this mascara. Some people really, really like it, but I'm not a fan. I'm just using it for the sake of finishing it. I'm not gonna be purchased that. Then I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Paris mascara. This is the Fall Slash Architect. So that's what it is. I'm just gonna curl my lashes with it because I always, always use two mascaras no matter what because I hardly use any falsies. My highlighter today, I'm going to go with the MAC Global Glow Highlighter. I'm just going to spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. For my lips today, I'm going to go with the Colourpop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bumble. Alright my gorgeous, so that's the finished look. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and all of my social media links are in the description bar. Come say hi and until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye gorgeous!